as part of the human race, oftentimes we're going to be offended or have things happen to us by either companies or organizations or people or friends. And it's really important, mostly for our benefit and our growth, to be able to get over it. In this video, I'm going to share with you a specific four-step process that when you're ready to get over that issue or that challenge or that bad feeling and you want to continue, these four steps can help you in that direction. Now, in preparation for these four steps, which are really for us to help us get over the challenge or issue that happened, if there's other things that have to be done, like law enforcement stuff or police work or physical protection or other details, we certainly would want to address all those things that we have to do and need to do and should do. But this, these four steps are for us so we can get over whatever has happened and we can move forward with our lives. So here's the four steps for ourselves and for our own benefit. The first step is to realize that this incident, this thing that happened that was so terrible or, or so damaging to us, the first step is to think, okay, as far as my healing goes, it's not about the other person. Now, the other person may be guilty of sin about a whole bunch of stuff they did against us, blah, blah, blah. But for the healing process, the first step is to say to ourselves, it's not about the other person. And that's the first step. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. We need to make sure that we're focusing on our own healing and not oh, throwing all that anger at the other person all the time or the other organization or government or whatever it was that wronged us. So that's the first step. It's not about the other person. Second step is to take an honest look at what was our role in this thing that happened. Were we just an innocent victim that did nothing? Or were we at the wrong place at the wrong time? Or were we jaywalking, got hit by a car? Or did we make some decisions that led to this, that which led to that? Let's be honest about our involvement in whatever it is that happened. That's going to help us take ownership and control of the situation. Now, oftentimes people have a challenge with this too. It'll be like, oh, they did this to me and then they did that to me. Well, that's step one. That's about the other party, which we're supposed to let that go as far as our healing process. We're either getting even or we're healing. Those two are mutually exclusive. We can't do both. So the first step is it's not about the other person. The second one is to admit our role in it. And one technique that has helped me is that if I'm talking about a situation and I'm really getting out the violin, oh, it's so, this is going back to step one too. Oh, they did this and they did that. Try telling that story without any emotion. Just tell the facts as they are and try to take the emotion out of it. And that'll also help with realizing that, okay, it's not about the other person and this is my involvement in it, which is step number two. What did we do? What decisions did we make? And just take ownership. Yep, I was there at this time. I made these decisions and this is why it led to that. And that's my part in it. Maybe the other party really did some terrible things, but we also had probably some type of involvement or leading up to that. So step number one, it's not about the other person. Number two, what's our personal involvement in this situation, this bad thing that happened? And then third, this is really important. What's the lesson? What can we take away from this situation? What's the silver lining that we can take away as a lesson that can help us in the future, either avoiding that situation in the future or growing from it? And in my life, every time I've had a really serious um, challenge and I've had a boatload in my life, uh, when I have a serious challenge, it gives me the opportunity to rise above it and be stronger. And that's our third step in this four step process is to go ahead and identify the lesson. What can we learn from this? And I, I kind of believe that if we don't learn the lesson <laughs> or if we don't take knowledge and improve ourselves based on it, there's a good chance that history will repeat itself and we'll have another situation or could have another situation very similar based on the actions that led up to it. So number one, it's not about the other person. It's about our own healing. Number two, what was our participation in this process, in this event that happened? Number three, what's the lesson? And number four, the fourth one is what's next? Now that we've had this experience and we're going through our healing process, what's next? Put those on your priority task list. Let's start working on those things and moving forward past this terrible incident that happened. And it could have happened at the hand of a friend, of a government, of a company, of another human. It's, it's all out there. We're part of the human race. And these four steps can help us in moving and healing past that to continue on in the direction of our goals to have a happy and successful and prosperous life. Now, there's one other technique. This is kind of a funny one. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought, no way. Now, I am a certified master hypnotist. And when I first saw this technique, I thought, does that work? And here's a great technique. When you want to let something go. So we've taken care of the details, anything that has to be done, but we want the emotion. 
regarding some incident to let go and to be relaxed more about it. There's a step, a process called tapping, and I'm going to share it with you right now. It goes like this. And go ahead and do it. If you're in a room full of people, um, I'm looking at my empty room, but uh, if you're in a room full of people, maybe save this one until you're alone. But just take your finger or two fingers and tap over your eyebrow. It doesn't matter left or right. It doesn't matter. Take your dominant hand and tap above your eyebrow and say, I release this and let it go. I release this and let it go. And then repeat here at the side of your eye. I release this and let it go. Whatever that was, whatever that traumatic event was that has been causing you damage and holding you back. This is part of that first step in the four step process of it's not about the other person. And then here under the eye on that cheekbone, I release this and let it go. Do that a couple times and then move it down to your chest bone right here or collarbone where that and say, I release this and let it go. And that process will give you about 30 to 90 seconds of reflection and release. And it's helpful in many cases. It can help you change your, your mood and your attitude to help you release the energy of that negative event that happened. So take the lessons that we can learn from any incident or any event that happens and let's put that energy and those lessons into future actions that will move us closer and closer to our goal. So I hope this has been helpful for you and I'll see you, my friend, in the very next video. Thanks for watching.